Alex Neil, that must feel like two points dropped rather than one game, does it? Yeah, well, I think everybody's got the same impression of what sort of the game was like. I thought we were the better side, made good chances in the game, um, and limited Dabity very, very little. So in terms of sort of game plan, the way we set out, as far as I was concerned, we'd done our job properly, you know, and sometimes in football you don't get what you deserve, and I think today was one of the occasions. It, we have to look at the, the Derby equaliser, it, it, it will go down as a, a John Ruddy own goal, was it just a mistake, or, or, or can you see a reason why, why that might have happened? Yeah, no, I've had a look at it, um, as John goes for the ball, the, the, the guy who's on him actually has got a hoddy's arm, so he's actually trying to grab it with one hand, um, which is a bit unfair in John. Um, you know, obviously people are looking at it and think John's made a mistake. Um, and I'm sure John might have thought he could have done better. However, the guy's got to hold his arm as the ball comes in. But saying that, John, John's been fantastic since I came here. Um, made a lot of vital saves in games that have been crucial in us getting to this point. Um, so th these type of things will happen at times. Um, but within the game itself, regardless of that incident or not, we had more than enough in the game and more than enough chances. Um, to go on and win the match. There didn't seem to be a huge protest from, from your players at the time. Actually, would you like to have seen them some, them do that to put a bit of doubt in the referee's mind? Yeah, well, but these type of things will harm. But it's like, at chances at the other end, would you like to see them put the ball in the net? Of course I would. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can, you can see that all over the pitch. Um, but ultimately, in terms of the game itself, like I said, you look at the stats. I mean, with more of the ball, we dominated the game, created more opportunities and limited Derby to very, very little. So in terms of the way we were set up and, and how we actually played itself, if we continue to play like that for the next nine games, we'll be completely fine. And Derby's approach towards the end said it all really, didn't it? That they were taking off attackers and bringing on defenders. They were happy with the point here. Yeah, of course they were. Because I think they knew, certainly based on the way the match was going, if I was in charge of Derby, I'd have probably done the same. So ultimately, you just we want our players to go out and play well. And I think in the main, we did well. Um, and just disappointed we didn't win the game. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not done you too much damage, has it? I know other teams that around you have won, but because of the run that you've been on, you're still within touching distance. Yeah, it's one win. You know, it's a one-game swing. Um, but we'll take this game on its merit. You know, we won't look at any other games. And in this game, based on the, the, the way the match went, we're disappointed we didn't win it because we felt we'd done enough. Yeah, you, you mentioned that those chances you, you had towards the end. You did create enough to win this one, didn't you? Yeah, and you, you know, you've got two chances at the end. You've got Seb Basong's header. Um, you've got the one Gary Hooper hits. The keeper makes a save low down his left um, and even in the first half as well you know Cameron Jerome had a header for a corner as well so I'm struggling to think of any real chances that Derby had whereas if you think of the chances we had we had more than enough in the match to win the game yeah I mean I know you've been talking a little bit about the search for, for a new striker is that something that will carry on yeah well if we think that something like that will improve us and gives that sort of edge between now and the end of the season it wouldn't be something that I'd rule out thanks for talking to us Alex thank Cheers. you thank you Cheers.